Before I get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. It helps me out immensely. Thank you for your support. Hi, I'm Clara. Today we'll talk global setting. If we want to adjust the parameters of global setting, please make sure we choose administrator to loading but not user because there will be some parameters cannot change in user. End of task, y axis goes to, we can choose origin, proximal, remote, endpoint. y axis will go to where we choose here after cutting apart. Gas on delay, it will help to ensure the gas will be successfully running to the cutting head and that a stable pressure. End of task, b axis rotate, is not a common setting for all. When there is uploading system, we can set here to make the B axis rotate a specific angle for loading. Gas switch delay. When we exchange the gas, it needs time to allow the previous gas out and make the new gas to run to the cutting head and add a stable pressure. And for the first blowing gas, gas on delay and gas switch delay will work together to ensure the gas arrival. Quick frog leap. If we take enable frog leap here, machine will carry out the function of quick frog leap without a delay in rise and fall if the actual distance is smaller than the value we set here. It will comply quick frog leap with delay in rise and fall if the actual distance is larger than the value here. Cooling point delay is the time for blowing gas at cooling points. Rotate exit 10 height lifts to. It allows the cutting head lifting a specific height when the tube is changing to another side. If we take tooth optimization, it will be out of sighting. Gas of delay, it enables to delay shut down the gas after cutting, which will protect the lenses and reduce the step to turn gas on between short distance cut. Continue step back is the distance the laser will go back when we click continue. Let's input a 5 here. Click start. Pause it. Continue. We can see the laser is running back a distance and then cutting. Enable auto load. If there is a loading system, take the option. The machine will run the loading PLC command first and then operate cutting. Enable auto unload. The machine will implement the unloading PLC command after the cutting. Check truck clamp before start. We'll check whether the truck is in a clamped state. If not, there will be a warning window prompt. Enable follow up holders before task. We can tick it if the holders are follow up models. It will automatically make the holders at a following up status before process. Enable follow up holders after a while. It enables to set the holders at a follow up status after each return origin. A loader do not return zero when work. It means the holders will not return its site zero position during processing. Six center before work. If we take it, the machine will six center first before cutting. Auto six center before cut off rectangle work. It enables the machine to six center before cutting off a rectangle tube. Single axis filter and use parallel purse. Both are not quite common. We have very little chance to use it. So here we'll just pass it. Let's step to move site. Position speed is the speed parameter setting for machine idly moving. We can set maximum speed and acceleration speed of x, y, and b axis. 
low pass filter size 5 heads as a default. If there is a huge error in cutting, we can try to make the value smaller. Tool path interpolation is the parameters we set for processing. We can set the maximum speed and acceleration here. Circle constant is the minimum time we set for cutting small circle, which will ensure the cutting accuracy. The larger the value, the higher the cutting precision. Work low pass filter size 5. HZ as default, the better the mechanical behavior, the faster the acceleration could be, and the higher the future value we can set. Square tube corner acceleration, if we don't take it, there will be speed limit to the value we set here when cutting tube corners. If we take it, the processing will be faster without limits in cutting corners. I'm Clara. Next Friday, we'll step to layer parameters.